I'm going to talk about how Russia is winning the war with uh, Ukraine, and many people are asking if uh, if this Zambia and Democratic Republic of Congo relinquish their minerals to the U.S. And also, we're going to talk about Yevgeny Prigozhin, the head of Wagner Group. Uh, he dismissed North Korea's support as a gossip. All right. I'm Bob Sankarian, and uh, make sure you subscribe, hit like, and uh, respectfully share your opinion. Respectfully, all right? Russia is actually winning this war, according to, to many experts. Even though the U.S. pledged $1.85 billion in um, additional assistance for Ukrainians, Russia still has an advantage because uh, they still hold a large part of Ukrainian's territory and the weapons um, the U.S. promised uh, Ukraine aren't that significant to make any major change on the battlefield. The main support on this list of weapons is the Patriot missile system, which has a long list of shortcomings. It is a risky move because the Patriots will not provide uh, immediate protection from the, from the Russian strikes on Ukrainian energy infrastructure. Patriot is, um, um, is a very difficult system to, op uh, to operate and maintain. It will take a long time before Ukrainians master it. For Patriots to function well, there must be a trained operators that have years of experience uh, using it. And otherwise, there will be mistakes uh, like the ones during the Gulf War where um, many allies' planes were shut down by Patriots and weren't able to shut a single Iraqi Scud missile. They can't just put uh, newly trained uh, people to operate uh, these new Ukrainian operators. Need to uh, experience, uh, to be successful, manage the Patriot system. And that will take time. You know, it's not something they can do anytime. And uh, consequently, Russia will develop tactics to counter the system by the time Ukrainians manage to acquire experience operating um, Patriots. So Patriots uh, won't make much of a difference in the battlefield for now, maybe in the long run it will, unless the U.S. send um, its personnel to Ukraine to operate it themselves. It would create a unnecessary risk, you know, of confrontation with, uh, with Russia, which no one wants, you know, and Patriot is not a very reliable system either. It fails to maintain uh, too many times, and more recently in Saudi Arabia, it wasn't able to intercept Iranian drones launched by Hutu rebels to destroy the Saudi company, Aramco oil field. Another factor we have to take uh, into consideration is that the stockpile of Patriot missile is small, and U.S. will have to build more missiles to keep providing them to Ukraine. They will need to uh, they need to to do more than double the production of the to be able to sort any effect. If we notice that the Russian strategy is launching thousands of missiles and drones that overwhelm Ukrainian defense and reach their destination. Even Zelensky said uh, during his speech at the U.S. Congress that uh, with many varieties of NATO defense system like NASAMS, Iris T, and others, it's still not enough. Which means they are not able to defend against hundreds of incoming uh, Russian missiles. Did Zambia and the Democratic Republic of Congo? and over the missile, uh, their minerals to the U.S. and Canada. These two countries back in April this year, they signed a cooperation agreement to ease the development of the value chain in electric uh, batteries and the renewable energy sector. This cooperation, however, will provide the opportunity for both countries to cooperate uh, to develop the battery value chain and improve collaboration between Zambia and Democratic Republic of Congo. This initiative will create jobs for Zambians and Congolese and boost their economy indeed. 
but they are going to start manufacturing electric car batteries which will help Africa stand up as a, as a major player in the world and a, a master of its destiny instead of just an exporter of cheap uh, raw products. The United States agrees and signs a memorandum of understanding during the uh, U.S.-Africa summit with uh, both Zambia and Democratic Republic Congo to support the EV battery plan by these two African nations. People on the other end are asking about the details of this agreement uh, with the U.S. and how will it benefit Congolese and Zambians, or it will only benefit the Zambian and Congolese elites, not the people of these countries. The Memorandum of Understanding says that the U.S., together with the uh, DRC and Zambia, will explore ideas to support this plan in developing the electric uh, vehicle value chain together. Zambia and DRC are the world, world major producers of copper and cobalt, which are key metals in building electric vehicles and batteries. Washington is competing with, uh, with China, which has a vast mining investment in the richest continent on Earth, Africa. Now the U.S. wishes to focus on um, Africa, again turning it into a battleground with China for these two critical metals suppliers. The U.S. will bring funding and expertise in this agreement. And the question is, how much value will the U.S. get back from these investments? And how will it affect uh, the tax sector and population of these two African giants? All right? Yevgeny Prigozhin, head of uh, Russian Wagner Group, he dismisses the argument of North Korea support to Russia as gossip and speculations. He said it's not a reality. He says that uh, they never took any weapon delivery from North Korea. And he says that North Korea has not been supplying any type of weapon to Russia neither. Such report has been uh, made to acquire the most uh, uh, domestic uh, North Korean weapons. He says that this is a uh, US propaganda, all right? Guys, if you want to share your opinion, you can share your opinion, but respectfully, okay? Um, I do my research, and then I hope you guys uh, understand that uh, it's very hard to do these things, okay? It's not easy to do it, so show a little, a little bit of respect when you share your opinion, all right?